<laughs> anyway, this episode is mainly a BenQ episode, but we're gonna get to the BenQ in a second. First, Parts Express was like, hey, they haven't reviewed our stuff in a while. You wanna get more stuff that you may or may not review? And I'm like, yes. Anyway, this set actually will get reviewed because this is gonna inspire me to finish. <coughs> I have sub $150 powered monitors. I have the out of, did I just went straight down my pants? Like, that's a great pocket job there, buddy. Powered Bluetooth two-way speaker pair. So, one is the thing. I have the edifiers in there. I forget the model number, but they're cheap. And I have uh, pluggables. I bought pluggables. And I never got the powered Bluetooth two-way speaker pair from Dayton. So these are also around $100. And I'm considering contacting Micatron and getting the PB42Xs back here. And this way I could have a showdown with everything under $150 that's a powered monitor with a remote control. And I do believe these have a remote control, which makes them special. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So what are you? 60, oh, they have, a new, they have a new Bluetooth amp? Oh, I don't know what's open first or last. Well, it looks very familiar. And it has an antenna. Did they send me one of these already? No, I have the other one, but I don't think it had Bluetooth. So, I really wish they would just name their stuff and stop this uh, nonsense. So there's a little pair button. I love volume indicators. Very, it's not even the same color as that label. And it just goes from there to there. Hmm, like how it's all heat sink though. All right, so this will get hooked up. The other one of these currently is powering my JBL 590 towers, by the way. So if you want to know if the little Dayton, Yuffie, Yuffie me. You know, if a little Dayton amp will power something, it'll power my 590 towers, which are very efficient, so that's not really a thing. So let's see, what has Dayton done? Uh -huh. Well, I'll tell you what, they're the right size. I was worried they were gonna be like B652 size. There's a box here, and I'm probably gonna keep this box around because yard sales are a thing. How big is the transformer? I'm gonna take a guess. 24 volt, 5.4 amp. Anybody else? Anybody else? Any takers? Any takers? Because that's that's usually like I've seen them range from 18 volt to like 36 volt for the really crazy one. Oh, it's a tiny one. Oh, I'm wrong. Definitely wrong. 18 volt, 2 amp. Oh, slightly disappointed. Anyway, if I sell you this, it won't have the bags because I hate those bags. Okay. Comes with an auxiliary cable that's very blue. Uh, speaker wire with tinned ends, so I guess that's, that's actually pretty good speaker wire. Oh, that vinyl smell. I do love that vinyl smell. And here's your plug, which is a standard figure eight. Let me open up. Only one of these seems to have the controls on it. So do we have a slave system going on? We do. Don't know why that sound just happened. Anyways, here's the slave. Silicone feet, always nice. I'll keep the bags. The bags are for if the box gets wet in transport. Burp. M cooks interrupted. Anyway, boxing. This is the passive unit, so it's just a speaker. Looks like a speaker. Tiny port, can't even finger that with my thumb. What's it claiming? <laughs> A recommended power amplifier power 50 to 40 watts okay uh, impedance 4 ohms interesting and it plays 60 Hertz to 20,000 Hertz so that's a speaker let's uncover the front still no magnets look at the surround on that Jesus that bitch is gonna excursion that's a bigger surround than like the micas the biggest round on a lot of speed. The JBLs have a smallest round. That's a thicken. 
I don't tiny tweeter, probably three quarters of an inch. Let's see what the powered one's showing off. I cut my thumb off. Where was I? Like a pro. I'm a pro at this. All right. Top, we've got M, probably from mode. Positive, negative. Probably, God knows, it's dating. It could be for anything. This is probably mute. That's unmute. And that's volume. Let me tap this up. One little LED on top. The same thick, triple C thick driver. The back has, oh my God, it's so complicated back here. Again, 50 to 40 watts. I believe that zero is missing, so it should be five to 40 watts. Actually, eh, not the greatest five-way binding posts, but they exist. Power on off, auxiliary port is a little crooked, and then your DC in. So yeah, these will get, these will get their, their monkey churns. I'm making things up now. I'm trying to make them popular. You lay here, you lay there. They'll be shot off against, no cat, don't eat whatever you think you're eating, don't, don't eat that. Anyway, this is the BenQ episode. So, BenQ ended up in my emails, and if you don't know, I get, um, 40-ish emails a day, and around 40 of them are garbage. Baby monitors, uh, 1080p bike cameras, which sound cool, but you go to check them and they're all like $31. And I do not need to be filled with like Bluetooth headphones and Bluetooth speakers that are all worth $20. Or, or my, it was a microphone that actually looked pretty good, but it was like 30 bucks. And if I was going to review a $30 microphone, I wouldn't do it through the company. Because then you feel obligated by the company to go deal with this shit. And then I got China emails back and forth. So no. So I'd say one out of every 500 emails I get is actually something I'm interested in. And... I didn't realize who it was at first, but it was like, hey, we have this light that goes on your monitor and doesn't shine on the monitor and it doesn't shine on your face and it's just, it fills just your desk in front of your monitor and you, your keyboard's lit up and it has different color temperatures and I click the link and it's $100 and I'm like, Jesus, they're asking a lot for this light, aren't they? And then I look and it's motherfucking BenQ, like, like that BenQ, even though it's a bean. Just realize it's a purple bean. Anyway, so here's that light. Because when BenQ comes knocking, you say yes. And that's why there's two giant monitors there. Because I'm like, I have subscribers. I have a subscribers. I really want to, honestly, if it wasn't BenQ, I would have still tried this light out. Because $100, I'm probably not going to spend. And I've been sitting in front of my monitor recently going, it's dark here. I want light here, not these lights on. I just want light here. And this is a nice, sexy looking black thing. Don't take that the wrong way. So this is the screen bar. The screen bar, ooh. And it's never coming out of its packaging ever again. Ever, ever. All right, here's how you deal with this, ready? Close your knife, place knife, flat on table. Put box on the knife, push down. Oh, sometimes you could pull it. Or you could do it on the corner. Oh, there we go. Just gotta get that. Wow. This is never, ever, ever going back in there. And I have no intention of putting this in the yard sale because if it works half as good as I think it's going to work, I'm keeping it. Because I legitimately need this light. Interesting. That is a result of someone who's doing doing testing and realizing that, oh shit, we're scratching the same part over and over again. We've got very Chinese, very, I mean, Japanese, Japanese. Ooh, is it Japanese? Yeah, it's very Japanese on that side. It's all Japanese. Oh my God, it's so Japanese. I gotta check the box, the shipping box. This didn't come from Japan, did it? It's all Japanese. It's all Japanese. I'm turned on in ways that I can't describe. Well, I can, but I don't have to put my videos on Pornhub, which might be a thing. I did unbox some gun accessories, so I'm like, oh my god, no! Wow. Okay, we've got USB cable. Obviously, it's USB powered, which is moderately annoying. However, my desk now has a six-way anchor power brick 
USB power brick. This is a nice fucking cable. Wow, it's so thick and smooth, is what she said. It is branded BenQ. Okay, all right. You win this round, BenQ. Here's the clip, and it literally, oh my god, it's just, oh wait, that is hysterical. So much plastic protective coatings. How do I undo this? They should have a tab here. It's, it's going to be shiny black, and I'm going to be like, fuck. I guess, there we go. Oh, it's not shiny black. It's matte black. It's all matte black, except for that part. Why is that? Oh, my God, that's part silicone. So that's a spring-loaded... This is literally just a weight. This is just a... Oh, wait, I could kill you with this. That sits behind your monitor, so they must do this. Yeah, that's a rubber pad, and that's a silicone pad, and it just grips your... It's got the lips that grip. Giggity. And then here's your little... That must go over the top of the monitor. And that slams against the back of your monitor. Smacking it from behind. That's honestly testicle. It feels like a testicle. Anyway, that's cool. That's what that's for. So that's how it mounts. And the actual bar, and I think that's the only thing in this, here is the actual screen bar. Ooh, so there's the LEDs strip is in there, and you can see there's multiple different colored LEDs, at least two different types staggered. And it's not shooting down, it's shooting up into a flat reflective mat. Fuck off. Fuck off into the garbage pail. Is there a cover on this? I kind of feel like I don't want to cover this, but it's not. So there's your USB. I could actually turn this on. I need one of those thingies that is power remotely. I'll take the big one. Yes. Because this, this is a Z unboxing, and it could take 40 minutes, but you're all going to get a little bit of a special experience. That's not where the light control is anymore. Now it's here. I'm, I'm, you have no idea how jazzed I am for this. I just use the term jazz, and I don't do that often. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, can I see? Look at... And so here's the, here's the, prop, the principle of it. So there is it is hitting, and there it is not lighting up so lighting up not lighting up there's a oh shit i don't i'm blind there's power soft on and off very good if i hold it that's oh it's it'll also adjust to the lighting in the room which is why it's bouncing up and down Dim, some, bright, some, one, two, three, four, oh my god, it gets so amber, that is so cool, the, the, the lighting, t color temperature, very cool, that's like a dead man's hand. All the way to like... I feel like that's going to warm up my chicken at like... Oh! 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 Already in... Already into this. And what does this do? That must be to auto... Auto select. Alright, I'll find out what it actually does. I kind of want one of these for my car. I don't know what I'd do with it. I'm gonna hit it with my buck. All right, screen bar is cool. Oh, I, should, I probably shouldn't cover the um that screen bar. You wait here. You good with that? Good. Battery, good. I'm uh, sorry, everybody. Alexa, set the lights to 100. I didn't say all the lights. A few things share that name. Which one did you want? All of the lights. Okay. 
Anyway, so BenQ monitors. There's two. They offered me three, and I'm like, nah, I don't want the little one. I want two. The two that I actually was interested in. Now, I'm a big 4K fanatic. Uh, mostly for productivity, though. Let me hit escape on that, because my sister will thank me later. This is a 43-inch 4K. It was the first 4K I bought. Got the computer. I didn't even have the card to run anything on 4K at that point. I was just like, it was so big and I could fit so much. And then I got this 40 inch 4K from Samsung. So that's a Vizio and that's a Samsung. And I love this monitor. I love, 40 inches is like the right amount. I could read all my tabs. Everything's good. But now other people run 28 inch 4Ks. I think 28 is too small. It just is too small. You can't take advantage of that sort of like dot pitch. It'll look crystal clear. Don't 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 mistake me. I think a 28 inch 4K, just like a 4K tablet, it's gonna look insane. But if you if you get rid of the size advantage of having a 4K, like having a 4K means you can run. I don't even I don't even full screen my damn Firefox anymore. It just floats there because I've got so much space. So I think 28 is too small. But sometimes 40 might be too big. And I wish this was a 36, and it's not, it's a 32. This is a 32 inch 4K. Which one are you? The EW3270U. Yeah, that's nice. Rolls off the top. Am I killing my thing? Don't, don't die. Don't die. Anyway, so, Banky hooked me up. I'll probably sell one, I, I might sell neither of these in the yard sale. Because I have a friend who really needs a monitor. And if I could sell that to him, and that'll help pay for things. And this one, well, I have that that thing above my da my bed that everyone's like, you're jerking off the porn in there. And I'm just like, I'm really not. But with this, I might be. Who knows? Okay. So this is a 32-inch 4K, which is a little smaller. I think, I think a 36 is the I would be the ideal size. Okay, what have we got for you? Oh, you're the actual stand. All right, I'm gonna set it up, by the way, on one of my, both of these monitors are coming out. Um, you may not see them turn on, simply because, why would they? You may not see them turn on, because this is an unboxing, and you don't do that unless you're unbox therapy. Five legs, weighted, but not like crazy heavy, so. Perfect, it's the way I wanted that, it was perfect, it did everything I asked. Uh, power plug, eh. CD-ROMs, I've had, the, there's, no one uses CD-ROMs anymore. See now, another thing is when I go to like a LAN event, when I go to MAGFest, when I go to fights, I end up pulling out this 40 inch. And I'm always like, ah, oh, my fucking 40 inch is sweet. And it is. But I have to disconnect it from the monitor arm, the omni mount arm, and then the arm goes, whew, and it smashes you in the face. And then I gotta come back with no, with no monitor. So if I could have, look how, first of all, look how small this is. Like in the box, this is relatively tiny. I could slide this behind my couch and never see it again. So I may keep this one around just simply to go to lands with. It's one less thing to take apart. It'll, it'll, it'll inspire me to go to more of them. Now, if I just had, I would almost consider getting a gaming laptop, just not even for the screen. Just bring this mofo, hook it up with the display port and be done with it. Oh, it's so shiny. Oh, the plastic is shut. Oh, here it comes. Oh, thank God. Oh, it's so shiny. Thank you, why? S forsaken Aru. Oh. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna turn this fucking vertical, and I'm gonna load my playlists on it for FUBAR, and I'm just gonna see what that looks like. Because my review monitor, and we're gonna get to that one, that's a 21 by nine curved. 1440p. Look how small that is. It's so adorable. It's okay. That goes. Oh, so that goes there. 
we're doing this together. So I'm happy that this front bit is not shiny because I'd probably grab this front bit more to, to like manipulate where the monitor goes. So, eh, okay, okay, that's, that's, I'll, I'll give you that. I'll give you that, BenQ, it's, it's not the whole thing isn't shiny plastic, I hate that. I, this probably should be on the ground. Ooh, looks like we got a split and it's interlocked, which means this whole thing has to come out, which means off the table. I think everything that's going to fall out has already, so. I'm on. Now, depending on how this box, how this monitor looks, it'll be determined if I keep this box or just take it raw dog. If I could pop that off and have just a panel, then I don't have to deal with this box. Cause this is, I hate people at lands who bring their entire, like, like, I don't know, like my friend Hiboto, who brings his entire goddamn computer case box with his computer case in it. So it's the size of like this cabinet. Cause it's got his original box from his original computer case. Nah, get a belt. All right. I'm gonna end up folding this box up anyway. Tape is cheap, motherfucker. All right, now at least I have handles also. Plus, when it's real, real tight like this, the suction of air, because it's trying to, it needs air it needs to fill the spot. We'll just prevent that from doing things. What else did we, what else did I forget? USB-C to USB-C. Interesting, it must have a hub. Must have a USB-C hub. And we've got display port to mini display port. God, the future is here, man. I haven't, I haven't bought an actual computer monitor, computer monitor in so long. So yeah, that's mini display port to the display port. Let me crack this open. Their instructions, they're like this side. And I'm gonna hope, well, that's pretty light actually. I'm hoping that in the future, the reason I wanted, I was like, hey BenQ, send me that light. And by the way, my name is Zero Ruse, how you doing? I make, I have this many subscribers. How you doing? I'd love to do like projector, cause my Epson up there is, uh, getting on in years and the lens has got some grease inside of it that I can't fix and it's like, mm. but the bulb still goes, so it still makes go. But when that stops go, well, BenQ is always the name I looked at for projectors. Always. Let's present, prevent myself from going to the bathroom. Always good. Get more work done when you can't pee. This is fact. I always use another BenQ monitor to open up my original BenQ monitor on. That's how that works. That's gonna be the power LED, that's cool. You know what I didn't note? Oh, there are the screws. <gasps> what are they? Oh, oh, that's fucking genius. <sighs> that. All right, so I've been looking for like, whenever you have to mount a monitor to the stand, there's always these screws that you lose and I end up getting like magnets to stick them on, but not here. Check that out. It's a spring loaded faux screw. So it is, it comes through, that's gonna slide in there. Then you're gonna push this in and screw down and that's what's gonna hold the stand on. In fact, let's get a screwdriver and put it on right now. Again, Zeo says unboxings are not anywhere near normal. It should just, put this in my mouth, hold on. Oh. Mm. It will just stay without screwing it in, which is, I would do that at a LAN. Just remember when you pick it up, it's gonna fall. Wouldn't even need a screwdriver. Lightly tighten, lightly tighten one side. It didn't read instructions. This is just, I know how you put things together. Then you tighten a little more, you tighten a little more, tighten a little more. Cause that needs to be shiny plastic. Of course it does. 
See, that's a good size. That's that's like it's big. Like, damn. And then it's a 4K, so it's going to be like, damn. Let's bring you. I just put that in my pocket. It felt. Let's have a look at this in the kitchen. Where all the unboxings should take place is in my kitchen. Um, matte screen, so no real reflection depth. Hi, you can't see me. Gray on the bottom. I don't know what that's gonna show. HDR, oh, this has the, um, let's say it on the box. I know that one says it's got the AMD. HDR, I don't know any, this looks like symbols from Doom. Uh, USB-C, FreeSync, it does have FreeSync. HDR, 3000 to one contrast ratio. I'm not sure the refresh rate of this monitor. I know that the big one though is 100 Hertz. So this EX series curved monitor is gonna be 100 Hertz. I'm personally more interested in this one for the reasons I said, look, it's extra monitor. Zeos can always use an extra monitor because Zeos doesn't like to have to take his other shit apart and this is good enough. I hope it is. I'll, I'm gonna judge it for color accuracy and running at a 4K how the productivity is because I, I could just already see that if I look at my, like here, like if I bring up like all my emails, like here's my emails and here's like emails I have to read and it's like, hmm. On this monitor, that's gonna be from mm to like mm, and it's gonna be. Like, can, I, can I read it? So, possibly some adjustments in lifestyle if I go to use that for a while. Again, I'm gonna give it a. I'll give it the fairest shake. That's all I do on this channel. Well, that's all I do on my other channel. How do you open? You look weird. You look like this is supposed to. All right, that's that's a thing. Now it's Christmas morning. Now it's Christmas fucking morning. It's got an 18R curvature, which I haven't done any research into like what to make fancy monitor go, but I'm gonna assume that's gotta do with the radius, the actual measurement of the radius. Oh, this one was already ripped by the USPS. That's great, or UPS. Well, they're designed on that angle, interesting. So one. I'm so glad they brought this up the steps. Yeah, this is a gigantic box, by the way. Like, I was ill-prepared for the size of it, the scope of it. It's like a treasure chest. Again, standard power, oh wait, no. You are, you're a standard power plug. Why are you a special power plug? It's a, a, a three, Nipple? I don't know how I want to save that. I was going to throw it in a pile. That would have been bad. Throw that away. I don't care about bags, honestly. Whatever that is, why? The question is, is this plugged directly into the monitor? Or is there a... There hasn't been a goddamn external power supply for a monitor in forever. Don't even think about that. Anyway. Okay, you got your mini DSP. Mini, mini DVI to DVI. You got USB-C to USB-C, same as on that monitor. There it is. There it fucking is. Holy shit. It actually has a power brick. I'm not going to look. All right, let me think. HDMI to HDMI cable, by the way. Let me think. This is a, it's a big fucking monitor, 100 hertz. This son of a bitch has to be rocking a, a 36 volt. I'm going to say 6.4 amp. 36, 6.4, come on. 20 volt, six amp. 20 volts, that's almost like you could run that in your car. So 20 volt, six amp, eh, all right. So yeah, that's, that, that, I don't know if I like, I guess they didn't have to put this into the curved display, which is gonna make the curved display lighter, but then you gotta lose this, unless these are prone to failing which would make this a lot better than having your monitor just be dead one day. It's just, you know, okay, where is it? Oh, I just buy another one of these, which I'm sure aren't cheap. Cause who the fuck has a 20 volt six amp? Books and CDs, no one cares about. Nice textured cover for something. 
I know, if you're freaking out because I'm throwing out the bags, too bad. I know how to live my life. It's throw things away. Um, so that's just a cover. That's probably going to be to cover the wire opening. Put that next to the knife. Instructions on how to make it go. I love how it tells you how to open the box with the instructions in the box. Good luck. Good luck with that. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Uh, so, okay, you've opened the box. You're supposed to put the stand onto the monitor while it's in the box. And then there's your little wire clip. And then don't smash the screen or put your thumbs against it. Move it only with the thing. Okay. I would throw that in the garbage, but it's hysterical. So let's... You don't get that wallpaper until I'm done with whatever review I'm doing next. That's what that wallpaper's for. Jesus. I guess there's really no way to make it smaller. Like that one, the stand came apart, so they were able to do it. But this one is just... This one just is. I'm tempted to put it up in the kitchen. It just is. Oh, God, it's chrome. Oh, there's, oh, there's protective... Oh. Oh. <laughs> Anytime this stuff's on it means it's shiny. Well, except for the light, which I, I prefer, per, approved of its lack of that. I hope you hold up. We're going to find out. Actually. See if I can knock my... This is where we do it. Sorry, thank you. Was this more than you asked for? Oh, thank you very much. I guess it's got to be really hard to plan the packing of a curved display. Same tape they use in my bidet. Can I get this up? I love this tape. It's super strong. It's literally got twine in it. It leaves no residue. I'm going to lift this piece of tape, but not all the way. So I want this all to come off at once. Bottom is free. I can hear my laundry cycle winding down. So let's get this uh, unboxing done. Actually, is there... Oh, there's multiple layers. I'll leave the tape on there. See now this, taking this to a LAN event, that's why people keep these massive boxes. If you don't own a garage, you may not be leaving the house with this thing. You know what? I'm a, I'm a sucker for, for drama, so I'm gonna undo the legs first. It's annoying, fucking shiny, fucking shiny legs. There it is. I know there's nothing to see, it's gonna be a black screen. But you people are like, unbox it, get it off, undo the thingy. So I could see the thingy, and I'm like, it's not even on. And even if it was on, I don't have any goddamn what source are you gonna see through my GoPro? Are they seriously did they put that in there? Oh, they suck. Piece of plastic stuck in the gap. My brother's refrigerator looks like that, where they put the plastic somehow between the thing, and it never came off right. So this is actually not shiny plastic. It's motherfucking chrome plastic, which might be worse. It, it just might be worse. I can't verify that it's worse yet. I'll have to get that out before the review. Uh, 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 uh. Let the tape touch the screen if you could avoid it. As a man who knows a thing or two about erections, I have one. That thing's gorgeous. And it's already dirty. <sighs> what is that? That's not that's not for me. That's just fuzz from something. I'm gonna have to get like a toothbrush. Obviously after I've used it. <sighs> Oof. That's why they took the couldn't with the power supply in there. This is all I'm I'm amazed they even got the damn control board for the 
unit in. Gotta have that shiny label that no one can read from behind. Hole for the thing. Oh, I gotta complete it. Gotta complete its transformation. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Fill me up. Seriously? There we go. Close enough. Close enough. Power. How many buttons? Six buttons and power. Oh, it's gonna be interesting using this. Now this is a 1440. My 21 by nine that I use for reviews, which is standing vertical, is a 1080. And when you turn it vertical, it's sort of like 1080 width hasn't been used since like 1024 by 768 monitors. So it's really a pain in the ass to get anything modern to look good on it. I mean, I'm not suggesting that you all use this vertically, but I'm kind of suggesting I'm going to because no one does that shit. However, there is no mounting system for that. So you would have to custom make one to just keep this thing in a vertical. Oh my God, imagine two vertical curves and just like, imagine they were touched and you could be like, I don't know what I'm doing, I'm scrolling Pornhub right now, yeah. Anyway, so here are the two monitors that uh, Ben Q was nice enough to throw at me. And they will get a very Zeos review. I will, I will calibrate them to the best of my abilities. I don't have a uh, actual calibrator. I do it by eye mostly, I do everything by eye. But I'm better than other people at that shit, so yeah, it should work out. At least I'll play with the options and tell you what you got. So yeah, thank you, Ben Q. Let's see where the um where the where the light bar looks like on there. So this bitch goes into this bitch. It just rotates in like that bitch. There's your there's your USB. I've got to have these monitors now. How could I obviously couldn't test the light bar, the screen bar, unless I had a monitor? So thank you, know what's going on. It'd be great if one of these was built in, however. So there you go. There's the center, and then you could adjust the tilt slightly. Where's the battery? Again, it's, it's, it's a Zeos unboxing. There's no like time limit. Like you make your videos too long, people aren't going to watch them. Um, I make my videos too long, so bad people don't watch them you make it all the way to here you are not a bad congratulations you are not a bad and they're hitting 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 not hitting and i hate that color so let's change the color can i hold it down i have to tap it oh my god it gets so it gets so red there should only be eight I feel like I pressed it more than eight times. All right, time to do actual work and then hide, hide these boxes. Cause my apartment's so box free. <laughs> oh, links to the Patreon in the upper, which I may have to use to buy a goddamn other apartment to store boxes in. No joke.